This video shows how to use the user code protection feature in Smart Configurator. User code protection feature allows users to add their own codes anywhere in the generated codes. The added user codes are not deleted when the codes are regenerated. This feature is used in the following four steps. First, generate codes with Smart Configurator. Next, open the generated file. Add these two comments to the location where you want to insert the user code. Insert user codes between the added comments. If the generated codes before and after the inserted user code are changed, such as when the component settings are changed, conflicts may occur when user generates code again. To resolve the conflicts, copy the user code to the newly generated code area. Then remove the codes and comments generated in the previous time. Here are some examples of when to use this feature. The first example is adding user codes to a header file. The header file generated by Smart Configurator has a place for include description, register bit macro definition, general macro definition, and type definition with type def. By using the user code protection feature, user can freely add codes to each location. The second example is enabling the multiple interrupts with an enable argument. By enclosing this function in the comments of user code protection feature, it is possible to prevent the interrupt function from returning to its original description when generate the code again. However, conflicts will occur with each code generation and must be resolved manually. The third example is supplementing the features that Smart Configurator does not support. If you want to use certain device feature that Smart Configurator does not support, you can refer to the suggested initialization flow in Hardware User Manual and add codes in the API using User Code Protection feature. For more information related to Smart Configurator, please visit this URL.